Hi there, my name is Valerie and I'm a lead technical agent at Bokin. I'm here today to show you how to create an offline booking using the create a booking feature. We're going to start on our Bokin dashboard. In Bokin, you actually have two options to create an offline booking. You can either use the create a booking feature or the booking desk. Both can be found in your booking tab on the left side navigation. The difference between the two features is that you can use the create a booking feature to directly take payment and the booking will count into your availability, while the booking desk allows you to add customized booking, like a booking in your past or create a new departure for a custom private booking. In this video, we're going to go through the create a booking feature. Once you select the product you want to book, you will be shown a view similar to the widget. You can see all the details of an experience in case the guest has any questions. And once you select the date, the rate and the amount of people who you wish to book for, you can continue with the booking. Step one of the actual booking creation is to enter the details of your main contact. You can either do that manually, or if this is a returning customer, you can select the returning customer field, type their name, and they should appear in a drop down. All the details below would be automatically filled in, and you can continue with the next step. The next step would be any booking questions you have entered in the experience. Only the ones showing a red star are mandatory to continue. The next and last step is adding payment to your booking and confirming it. You can now select if you want to apply a discount or tax to the booking or if you want to add a custom charge. You have four options to take payment on your offline bookings. You can either go to payment that would create the booking and then move you over to the payment section using your payment provider. You can select payment link. The booking would then be created in a reserved state and send a link to your customer to pay the booking online. If the guest pays the booking, it would just show up as confirmed and you can choose the specific time frame for your guests to make the payment in. You can enter a payment manually, for example, if you're taking cash payment, a voucher, or taking a payment in your shop. You can select pay later, and this would only create your booking, and you can add payment later in your sales feed. There, we saved the booking now, and this is what it will look like in your sales feed. You don't have a booking account? Click the link and try it for free now. Thank you so much for watching.